Howdy folks, it's Sean again here with Cappy's Cards, coming at you with another box opening video of football cards. Got this one in today, so let's check out and see what's in it. All I've done again is rip the tag off like I did last time. I have not seen what's in it, of course, as I bang the tripod when I open it. And, you know, like I'm always looking for when I buy these boxes off eBay or Facebook or wherever I get them, right? It's a nice variety of cards from the last 40, 50 years, something like that, mostly 40 years. Uh, and, you know, I'm always up to buying these things in different ways. If you've got something you'd like to sell, you can always reach out to me and let me know. Uh, find me over there in the shop on Etsy, Cappy's Cards, because that's where these are going to wind up in various, you know, mixed bags, as I always do. With these, uh, these are the 96 SP. Never seen these before, I don't think, but nice mix of different players. And we got some stars, a little more star power this time. I already passed an Elway. There's Shannon Sharp, Cortez Kennedy, Hall of Famer, and John Randall's a Hall of Famer. So we're getting some nice stuff in here. Nice mix of players. Steve McNair, it's got to be early in his career. Don't think it's a rookie. Definitely early in his career. So nice SPs there. Let's see what else we got. If I recall correctly, this box was purported to be mostly 90s, but some stuff up through today. You can see wild cards, some, that's 2000, yeah, 2000 tops for deck. Seems to be a Chargers pile. I like when they're sorted like this. It makes my sort a heck of a lot easier when I go through and mix these into teams and that type of thing. It's 04 tops, so coming into today, because that's what I do. I'll sit here. And I'll mix these into the various teams that they're in, and then I'll break them down by the brand, right? I'll make all these FLIR 93s together here for Washington when I get to that. And break them up into groups of 30. And all of every pack's always going to have some stars and Hall of Famers and stuff like that in it. At the same time, though, you know, there's going to be other players as well, right? You're going to get Ricky Irvins in a pack sometimes if you buy Washington. But you're also going to get Ryan Kerrigan, you know? Uh, most of the time. It depends on how many that I've got, right? And each team, you know, there's a different number for each pack of how many stars, right? Like Kerrigan, that's got to be early-ish in his career, I think. I don't remember when he was a rookie. But there's some sort of uh, parallel there. But still at the same time, right, you're going to get however many I can put in there. And like I said, these are designed for fans and kids and people just getting into collecting or that just like their favorite team you know and I try to you know guide them as a you know what the heck is that some sort of game thing but you know an in, inexpensive alternative to what's out there for getting into the game and that kind of thing anymore because cards have gotten so expensive like everything else in life uh, there's a bunch of chargers right there so what do we got over here? Let's try this pile. So, some 91 Fleer. I said it last time, right? You can always count on 90 score, 90, you know, 90 tops a little bit, but 90 Fleer to come into these boxes. And got a lot of Washington and a lot, got a World League card. Raleigh Durham Skyhawks playing out of Carter Finley Stadium back then. So, my other alma mater, as I like to call it. Um,. A lot of Washington, a lot of Tampa Bay, too. So it's good. I like how these are sorted. I don't like how I got a bunch of Harry Hamiltons, but that's cool, too. I mean, that's what happens. These are all seem to be in good shape so far, too. It's, you know, you never know when you get some of these boxes sometimes. Sometimes they're real junk. Uh, but, you know, card like this, though, with tipped corners and things, you're not going to find them in my product. I try to get them out as much as possible. Do I screw up sometimes? Sure. I'm human. But at the same time, right, you're going to get, you know, cards that are in good shape when I'm, you're buying from me for as much as I can help. So it's 90 score, right? Um, so now we need 90 Fleer to complete it, right? That's, you know, ooh, some, it's tough for these black ones. Some of these black border cards, I will include a card like that. Just because, you know, black borders, it's so impossible. There's 90 Fleer, of course. Uh, 90 Fleer, 90 score next to each other. Uh, but still, you know, it's, it's pretty much impossible to not, with those black borders and dark border cards, to not have them screwed up in some way. So, I do like the variety in here. 
getting some newer stuff too. Russell Wilson there's Jonathan Taylor, or no, I'm sorry, Jerry Rice, Lawrence Taylor. I combined them both in my head for some reason. And we got over here some more Chiefs. 90s Chiefs cards. So a Koye I always like to highlight. Wow, there's a lot of score there. Uh, lots of score, lots of Fleer. Have to go through them a little bit more here when I get done the video. Let's try a different part of the box here. And you do get some of these sometimes, which are players like Ozzie Newsom, Hall of Famer, right? Uh, in their college uniforms, it happens. Dak Prescott, pretty sure I've got that one in the PC. I am a Cowboy fan. It's been a long, God, almost 30 years, right, since the one, heck, an NFC Championship game, let alone a Super Bowl. So we got some Jets now, and man, kind of mixed in, Mark Sanchez. Kind of mixed in with other AFC East teams. Dolphins. Let's see a lot of 2012 score. I like that. It's a little bit different. Or, you know, not a lot of 04. It is 04. Right? 04 tops either. Some of those game cards from, was that tops tracks or something like that? Yeah, tops attacks. But, yeah. So, nice mix of cards again. So, I like when boxes are like this. Good shape. Oops, I just tossed a couple. Good shape and good mix. Although they do seem to favor a few teams. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. That just means I'll have more of them available. So and I'm not going to flip these around just because, oh, here we go. Some score, that is a couple years ago score, right? 2020 score. Prestige. I don't know if I have that one in my Witten collection. I'm going to have to look when I go through this. I do PC Witten and Tony Romo and... Of course, the guys when I was a kid, Aikman, Emmett, and Irvin, right? A couple others in there as well. You know, I like the linemen, Larry Allens and uh, Eric Williams and people like that. You know, coming up to today, I collect Zach Martin too, that sort of stuff. And of course, ultimately, I, the other one I collect is Roger Staubach when I come across his, you know, insert cards and that sort of thing. So I go through these, that's 2010 score, right? Lots of, lots of uh, Tampa Bay. Going to need some Tom Brady cards. Probably have a few of them sitting around somewhere. Lots more Jets here again. That's pretty cool. What is that? 03 tops. Usually in these boxes, you don't get a lot of the early 2000s cards, right? Because, oh, there's one to throw away. Jesus. Um, but still, oh, God, there's another. But still, you know, coming through these, some Chiefs, lots of Chiefs. I like these. I, I like this set. I really like that design. That is uh, 05 tops, right? Yeah. So I like that design. Hopefully when Fanatics, you know, brings out NFL cards again here soon under the tops banner, they've got a nice design again. It's not the Panini products are bad, but, you know, something about that tops design I just liked. One of these SPs. So there's Jerry Rice and Steve Young. Some good stars in there from the 90s. Uh, come across any Cowboys with these. I don't think I have any. Let's see if I pull any of them out. What are these red ones here? Another SP thing from 96. Penny sleeve. That's pretty cool. I guess it's an insert set of some kind. I've never seen these before. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Eric Moulds, Stepford Williams. Was this a rookie set? Sure. Uh, <laughs> the old Stars and Stripes cards. I like those. Say our rookie Stars and Stripes. So the old victory cards. Lots of Jeff George. It's a Jeff George pile. It's hard to say that name here in Indianapolis. Right? Not the most popular of players. For obvious reasons, if you are of my age, you know how he is a bust around here. Lots of Chargers. Let's see if we can find something else. We've seen a lot of Chiefs, lots of Chargers, right? Uh, what's on the bottom part of this? Because, I, again, I don't want to make this run too long. i got some, like, Pogs or something in there, too. Uh, some Jets again. Some more Washington Washingtons. 
And the Broncos, a lot of Bobby Humphrey cards. He was supposed to be something. He had one or two good years. And then disappeared. <laughs> what else we got? All different directions here. Priest Holmes was a good player. Back to the Chargers again. Lots of Chargers cards there. I'm just gonna move these out of the way. So we've seen a lot of this stuff probably already and just wanna see what's on the bottom here. Some Stadium Club cards from Tampa Bay. This is Pog, Heath Schuler. Pog. I was never a big, I mean, I was too old by that point for Pogs. When they got popular, I was already in college, so I never really got into that. I was, of course, I never got into any of this kind of stuff when I was in college. I was too busy drunk. But at the same time, it was, you know, it was something there for a little while. But the only way I remember Pogs now is a Simpsons reference. Right? The Steve Allen, the King of Pogs, or whatever. Uh, Behold, the biggest pog, or something like that. And he buys that uh, blues album instead from the comic book guy. Always a Simpsons fan till the last couple seasons. And I've, they're just sitting on my DVR. Because I think, as most Simpsons fans will tell you, they've gotten bad. <laughs> Uh, 30 years though of a TV show, it's what happens. So I will definitely you know, pull some of these again out that look like crap as I'm doing this. Just set them aside here. And especially when they're just, you know, from the 90s and stuff, they just wind up in the circular filing cabinet. You know, the recycling version, not the trash version, because they are cardboard after all. So, oh, there we go. Lots of Texans. We're getting a lot of the same-ish kind of years, but it's good. It's a great mix, again, of cards, and they're mostly in good shape. You know, you get the usual suspects of 90 and 91 score and, you know, early 90s. Like, you get, every once in a while, you get a World League card that isn't going to do me any good for anything. But, you know, nice, nice mix of cards in here. Let's pull a different spot. Again, if you've got anything like this you'd be interested in selling to me, I usually, you know, have a price in mind, but you can contact me and we can try to work something out over there on my Etsy store, my Etsy page. And again, when I'm filming this here in July 2022, all of my baseball card packs are on sale this month. Sort of an all-star sale, if you will. So hop on over there, get some baseball card packs. I think I'm sold out of a couple teams right now, but most of them are there. Well, almost all of them, I should say. Lots of Colts. Lots of different ones, too, which is kind of neat. What is that Bowman? 03 Bowman. Nice Marvin Harrison there. Hey, a Peyton. Always good to find stars like that. Another Peyton right here in his uh, Pro Bowl card. So, you know, teaching college here in Indiana, you'd be... Probably would, but probably wouldn't be surprised how many students I get every year named Peyton. Uh, <laughs> you know, lots of Colts fans around here. Of course, the hospital down the street here, Peyton Manning Children's Hospital. I mean, it does a lot of good stuff for the area still, even though he's been gone for 10 years, right, or so from when he got traded away after hurting his neck. What is that? UD Choice, 98, sure. Clear Ultra, late 90s, 96. Nice mix there. So we got some good stuff and all these things, you know, it takes me a few days to go through this. Though this one, again, you know, when they're all sorted like this, it makes it a little quicker. It'll take me a few days to sort them along with the other boxes that I'm still working on. I've got, I believe, one more in the mail. And from there, I start sorting the teams. And as I sort the teams, you know, into, you know, we're a pile of pro line, pile of 90 tops, right? That sort of thing. I'll probably do some videos of me sorting them like that, maybe a live stream or two. 
and then those will go right up on sale. And you can follow along there on Etsy and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and, you know, I will definitely have product updates as I always do there. Information on sales, information on when I get new stuff or whatever it might be. It's a nice 88 tops, right? So good mix. Really good mixes. I'll put the links to my social media as I always do in every video there in the description. So you can check them out. Cappy's sitting behind me, as he always is. He's got a little box that he likes to sit in when I sit here at the table and do this. And he sits there and watches me, and if I go over, you know, over here to the sofa, he'll follow me over there and sit on my lap. And we'll just hang out, we'll watch the Mets game or whatever's on TV for a little while when I feel like taking a break and, you know, that's why we named it after Cappy. He is our good boy. Well, again, you know, please like and subscribe to us here. You'll get a lot more updates like this. And, you know, when I get boxes, I'll just sort through them here real quick. I mean, if I were to read every single card, there's probably 2,500 cards in here. Mark Brunel. If I were to read every single one, you know, we'd be here all day. So... Just going quick, looking at some of these, and you can see the variety. And like I said, every pack's got some kind of variety in it. You might get two or three, perhaps, sometimes of one brand, one year, right? But you're not going to get five Reggie Brooks cards in one pack, right, if you buy Washington, uh, of the same card at least. You might get two or three different Reggie Brooks cards or something like that, but you're not going to get the same card, right? You're going to get different years, different sets, different brands. So, always looking for variety. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it here before we get too much longer because we're getting a lot of the same stuff as I continue through it. So, you can see more Jaguars, which is good. I don't think I have a lot of Jaguars in stock. So, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you over in the shop.